Hello again, everyone, and, uh, oh, oh, wait, I got this. What is happening, guys? The dude, 1598 here, and I'm back with some more Civ 5. So I just opened up the demographics here just to show you guys how this works. It's basically from the looks of it, population, I got number one. Crop, I got number one. Manufactured goods, number one. Uh, no idea what this is, but I'm number two, so whatever, that's not bad. Uh, it's million gold. Land, number one. Soldiers, I'm actually doing the worst in soldiers. Approval, I'm okay. And literacy, I'm number one. So, basically, that means is right now, I'm doing pretty good. I mean, I should be doing better, but this free tech right here will definitely boost me. So, what I'm going to go for is just the one that takes the longest. So, with that, I instantly get drama and poetry. It sends me into the next era. So as you can see, if I go up here, all the way back. So with that, that one was in the classical era. So I've now entered the classical era, even though I haven't had any everything before that um, set up. So again, you guys, w w wait, what do I need to research for that? Do I need, I need trapping. So, okay. Um, no, uh, finish up the wheel. And then we'll go into trapping. Okay, so you can rest here for a minute. And then I'll have them build a road from this city to this city. And, yeah, so this is actually quite a slow game, surprisingly. So I'm going to put you right here, and I'm going to have you... Um, can you... Uh, will you... Uh, whatever. Um, okay, so the, yeah, there are a lot of barbarians in this area. So the second I get a chance, I'm going to have to... Ooh, yeah, my second settler. Okay, that's good. So it is going to lower my happiness to found some new cities, but I think I'm going to do it anyway. And so basically what you can do with this is you hit Construct Road, and I'll put to right here. And with that, he'll just instantly construct a road along that area. Next thing I'm going to do is make the pyramids, because, you know, uh, Portugal or Portuguese or whatever I am, Sorry if I, uh, I I actually didn't pay that much attention at the beginning. Oh, another thing, I get bonus stuff from trading with these guys. That that was that's my special ability basically. So as soon as possible, I should actually start trading with them because it will help me a lot. So now, as you can see, I can actually with if it's within my two space three space area, I can actually fire upon people. And so as you can see there, I basically just shot at them. I mean that's really all there is to it. And the next border growth that's going to get me is actually right there, which is a world wonder. So I'm not actually 100% sure if I remember what it does. But when it grows to that space, I can um, do that. Oh, Golden Age is dawn. So those come every once in a while. And basically, while you're in a Golden Age, you make probably three times, or in this case, not that much. But you usually make a lot more money. And... Yeah, I know they they want a pantheon, and they're angry at nearby barbarians. So again, I'm not doing the best this game due to the fact that... Actually, Ados, um, it's not good. They could basically move two spaces and capture them this turn. So I'm actually going to move them back into the city for right now. Whereas you, I'm going to bring down here to found my next city. So you can uh, rest in here for a turn. So yeah, what I'm going to do is the second... Actually, the second I have the opportunity, I'm going to try to um, buy another unit. And I'm actually taking a lot... Okay, this is not good. I My scouts may die right here. Yes, okay, they're good. Um, yeah, my scouts are going to fall... Okay, this, is, this is not a good situation for my for my scouts right now. So I guess I'm going to have to move them down here and heal. I mean, that's the only op option I really have at this point. And so, uh, settlers, you can uh, move right there. You can, again, do nothing because they're too close. And you can fire upon the barbarians. And so, yeah, basically, it'll slowly kill them. But so, in... Okay, this is what I needed. I needed to add this, and I'm going to add a warrior an archer, and then some walls. The second I'm done with the pyramids, I'll start making some walls. 
So what I'm hoping for is that they don't come over and attack me. Yes. Oh, that is probably the best turnout of what could have happened. So this is a risk. Can I found a city right here or can I not? No, I can't. Okay. So in which case, I'll found the city right here. And I'll still get the stone horses and cattle. So, wait, are you... Yeah, you're fortified. Okay. So it's better than nothing, but... I would have preferred to get it next to the mountain, because then later on I can build observatories. And it also gave me the ruins, which is actually what I was hoping for, but I wasn't sure if it was going to happen or not. And one of the first things you should always build in a city is a shrine, because if you, if you miss out on getting a religion, that's, it's probably one of the worst things that can happen. So first things first, I can actually fire on two people right now. One from each of my cities. And with that, I got rid of him. And so, yeah, now I think you can continue building the road because he's one space too far away to actually come and get us. Um, sure. You can, you can take 15 gold. Actually, uh, with that, maybe you could give me some of your stuff? Maybe? Okay, so first, let's see what else we have here. I think I'm going to go into the honor... Uh, tree now. I, you can get you can go into multiple of these at once, but honor will basically um, give you a lot more uh, strength against fighting barbarians. So now that I have the honor tree, all of my units will do extra damage against barbarians. And is this okay? So when both of these shrines end, I'll end up making more faith per turn, which in turn I'll basically get a religion faster. And now that okay yeah so you guys you guys are going back into the city and i'm gonna fire oh that is really good okay let's see so six iron right there and two iron right there and i think i may purchase those tiles basically what purchasing tiles do is you can pay to own that area instead of waiting and i'd like to do that but it would definitely take a lot longer so what I'm going to build is I think I'm going to build a water mill here because it will up my production. Then I'm going to add a library in because then that, that will also up my sciences. So since uh, is my, next, my next border growth is going there in nine turns. So yeah, I think I'm good for now because basically what iron is, is iron is probably the most useful early game... Um, Oh, yeah, I'm blanking right now. Most useful early game fighting strategy, you could call it, or way of fighting. So basically, thanks to that, I was able to um, get uh, multiple workers. So yeah, now I have three workers in my empire. And I'm going to leave them right here, because next turn I will get a uh, warrior. So if he does come back to take me, um, I can just send my warrior right on out. Unless, of course, he did it right. Yeah, no, see, right here, I can walk right on over and take him out. There we go, and I get my worker right back. So he can continue building the road to this city, whereas you can build a road to this city. And so basically, roads themselves don't do that much. Uh, sorry, I hit the wrong button there. Roads themselves don't do that much, except for the fact that they, basically, they connect your cities, and in turn, that gives you more, it gives you more move, moveability, move, movement, basically means you can move around faster, and you can, um, you, it connects the cities, and you get more, like, trade within your cities and stuff. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to take out those barbarians for the city and hopefully up my friendship with them. So are you actually doing anything right now, or are you just kind of uh, standing there? Yeah, okay. Uh, th thanks for that. That's what I needed you to do. Um, are you working on the road to right here? Okay, now you are. Okay, good. And so basically, roads are super, super... Okay, I'm actually making a negative gold right now, which is not good at all. But basically, in destroying this barbarian encampment, it should give me, yeah, 26 gold. 
So I'm at least in the positives in gold for now. And in the meantime, you can actually make... Oh, whatever. In that case, you should just go work on this cattle right here. And because I'm actually getting such low gold right now, I think I'm just going to buy that tile. So then when I actually work on that tile, it's going to give me extra, extra gold per turn. And then maybe if everything works out okay, I may actually be able to ask another civilization for some uh, money. And I'll just leave my archers out here for now just to sort of uh, fend off anyone nearby. And now I'm going to get Survivalism 2, and it's going to give me crazy amounts of healing outside my borders per turn, which is great. I can also uh, take out that Barbarian right there, and I'll move you inward. Uh, you, on the other hand, you can just uh, stay alert. And so basically uh, what alert does is really simple. It just makes it so you get a defensive bonus if someone were to try to attack me. And wait, was I their ally for a turn? Okay, yeah, that is actually really helpful. So, if I were to gift, let's check, my influence right now is 59, and 60 is what you need to become their ally. So what I could do is I could give a gift, and I could gift a unit to them. And if I were to, let's say, give them this archer, yeah, I'm going to do that. And basically, first of all, it increased my gold because I no longer have to worry about... I did that? I actually don't think that changed it yet. But basically what it should do is, in being their ally, I'll get a lot of bonuses that will help, in turn, help me basically I just do everything, if that makes sense. And you just get bonuses from... And yeah, I'll be able to kill them this turn. Oh, and there's their warrior, okay. So actually what I'm going to do right now is since all my cities are level 2, I'm going to go into citizen management, and in all my cities, I'm going to avoid growth. So I'm going to tell them, you can't grow anymore, you can't, you can't make any more uh, little people. Because basically with too much, hap with too much, um, not happiness, with too much happiness, people start to get angry. Yeah, that, that makes sense. So basically, with uh, too much... Um, oh, I cannot speak right now. Uh, with too much... Bleh, talking is hard. With too many uh, people, your civilization starts to become unhappy. And when your civilization becomes unhappy, things just go bad. So... What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get a caravan first. And then you can also, you can work on a, not the statue. Statue of Zeus, I do want to build, but I don't want to do that yet. So you can work on a library. Actually, no, second thought, you work on, yeah, you work on a library. And then I'm going to have you work on a monument. All right, so I'm I'm deaf first. Blah 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 blah. blah, 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 blah. You, you got me. Okay, good. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it so. Ooh, whoa, they that city is getting close to my borders. Quite quite close actually. But the next thing I'm gonna do is yes, I'm now their ally. Good. So what is my sixty out of sixty? Okay, I definitely want. Higher, higher, ooh, wait, is there? Oh, wait, that's actually what I need. So I'm just going to span out through the different uh, policy trees right now. This will basically lower the amount that they stop to not like me. That makes sense, right? It should have. Uh, so basically, with that tree I just got is they will they will like me for longer, if that makes sense. And they'll stop liking me a lot less fast yeah so with that road almost done and this guy so how long of a route is that that's the problem because basically uh, yeah I'm no longer their ally I, I know that uh, currency that's this is what I need right now because I'm actually running low on money like worse than I would expect to do by this point 
basically what I can do with this is I can trade with other civilizations. So I think I'll just start out trading with them because it's a nice, quick, short route. But basically what barbarians can do is they can pillage your trade routes and they basically just take everything from it and you don't get any of it. Which is kind of annoying. So basically if you... Ooh, I'm in a new city-state. Where are they? See, this is the city-state I should be helping instead of this one over here, even though I'm already close to allies with that one. So yeah, what kind of city-state is this one? This is religious, which is really, really good for me. So I'm actually going to pledge to protect them, which I think should make them like me a bit. And I'm also going to pledge to protect you. And so I'm not really sure what that does. I just think it means they're less prone to completely hating your guts. Which is what usually happens with me in all the city-states I find. So yeah, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the gold there. But I want to clear out all the barbarians in the area. There we go, 26 gold. Not bad, not bad. So yeah, I, I actually think my empire is expanding at a nice rate here. And uh, I'm actually gaining quite a bit of uh, supplies, which is uh, really, really helpful. Okay, so where is, okay, so this encampment is way down there. So I'm probably, ooh, I'll do a lot of damage, but I think I'm going to stick on this mountain for now. Get an alert position, because I don't want them to attack me instead. There we go. So basically, yeah, what I'm going to use this warrior for right now is just to go around and uh, fight. So I can actually get the Statue of Zeus, which is what I'm going to do. But then I am going to get a, oh, get one of these. And then I'm going to get another caravan. So basically what these caravans can do, I will show you right after I finish moving this guy over here. What caravans do is I can go to trade with city. And I can basically choose a city that I can trade with. And I think because this one gives me the most gold and they're near me, I'm going to trade with them. So yeah, that just upped my gold per turn all the way to 11, which is going to be really helpful because up here I'm going to be needing a lot of gold, especially if I declare war on these people right here. Meantime, yeah, I think I'm going to do enough damage here where it's worth it. Because again, clearing barbarians for city-states is probably the most helpful thing you can do to improve your relationship with them. And you, MC, basically roads here, they increase your movement by a lot. In the meantime, you can heal up on that mountain there. And since I believe this city was starving earlier, I'll start to add some more farms to this city. Oh, so in that case, I think, oh, they are under attack. Yeah, I'm definitely going to send my guys there as soon as possible. And they also demand gems. Okay. So one thing I did notice is these guys over here, uh, in second thought, you can go and work on that silk, and you can make another farm. And these guys right here had gems. So I'm actually going to see, I'm going to go to trade, they're making two gold per turn, so I'm going to see, uh, what do you want for gems? So they are actually, they don't want to give me their gems at all. Like, there's there's no way. Uh, what do they want for horses? Even though I already have horses, I'll just show you how this works. So they say, they'll take two iron and three gold per turn, basically for 25 turns, in order for me to take their ho to take some of their horses. Which, you know, is an okay deal, but... I'm going to stick with uh, keeping my own two horses and two iron I got. Wait, have I? Okay, so that's the two iron and that's the six iron. That makes sense. So basically, as soon as uh, I get this... Wait, is this the iron right here? Is Oh. Okay, I thought that was the iron. That makes a lot more sense now. And I can get rid of this barbarian. Okay, uh, yeah. Plantation right here. It gives me gold and food, but lowered production. You know, I can I can live with that. Mine give me some more production, and I can choose another research. So I'm gonna head into even though it's the longest. 
I'm gonna head into guilds because this will basically give me a lot more money. And it looks as if a lot of these other people are just starting to find found find food, but uh, found pantheons. So I am at an extreme advantage in the means of religion at the moment, which is gonna put me ahead in the later time. Okay, market. And with that, it's been 20 minutes now. So I'm going to uh, end off the video here, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. All that fancy stuff. Uh, comment which civilization I should play next series. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. See y'all later. Peace.